arm signatures detected. Initiate emergency measures. That sound. It's Imperial gunfire. Looks like we've got company. What gun? Light threatening activity detected nearby. Individual contact with its source is not recommended. <gasps> what a most advantageous orb! I should love to study it. Now's not the time. After Midas! Mokia! Could it be? More of them! Stay sharp, I'll... We must focus on the battle at hand. See that? Oh, this acceleration. Sorry, we <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Are you all right, Markia? Midas, is that truly you? In the flesh. Thank goodness you're safe. You jumped in so quickly. I assumed you were another Imperial lackey. My apologies. No need. Do not fret, Midas. Full glad am I to see you. <clears throat> Age has certainly not been kind to you. Yet you remain unchanged, just as last I saw you. You flatter me, but I have changed in my own way over these years. By the way, your companions are peering in this direction with some confusion. <laughs> it would seem they have the wrong idea. Uh, forget them. The less they know, the better. <laughs> that will not do, Midas. I am certain your friends would like to hear the whole story. I see some familiar faces. <laughs> Human children really do grow up in the blink of an eye. It has been some time, Princess Leticia. I am deeply honored you would remember me, Lady Malkia. You have grown into a beautiful woman. And the boy has grown into a fine young man. <laughs> Welcome to Nilbeth. Boy? I am alive and well thanks to you, Lady Malkia. That is all well and good, but you do not appear to be in the best of health. You see right through me. I could sense the osseous core I separated with 14 years ago. But I never imagined Midas would be with it. Osseous core? Oh. So, was that the material used to replace Albert's arm all those years ago? Welcome, Midas, Princess Leticia, and your brave young companions. I am Malkia Trathan. I am the leader of the Trathan tribe, the native peoples of Nilbeth. Follow me. I will lead you back to our village. We can discuss more there. Why didn't you mention you were friends with their leader from the start? I was not expecting to see her, much less be shown such hospitality. Oh, why not? She seems so nice. And what's up with her and Midas? Seems like there's something going on between them. <sighs> There lies the reason. I assumed she might not have the highest opinion of the Osarian royal family. Is she involved with the feud between Osarius and the wise men? Neither Midas nor Princess Leticia informed you of the events from 14 years ago? Uh, not everything. I myself am still attempting to calmly discern who is at fault. <laughs> 